All right, everybody, it is time for the opening and the sampling of Straight Fire. So, you see all the cloudiness in here. A lot of fermentation has taken place, and there's just a lot of liquid there. So one thing I want to check is, does that liquid not have any punch to it, or does it have some punch? Because if it doesn't have enough punch, I'm going to filter some of that out before blending it up. So let's check it out. Okay, here we are. We got this little thing on the top that keeps everything submerged below the liquid, which is important for fermentation. We'll get that out of the way. And let me just get a little bit of the liquid here and see what it's got. Very little bit of heat. Well, little is relative, but it doesn't have the kind of kick I'm looking for out of this one. That's why it's called straight heat. Straight fire, sorry. And uh, I would drain a little off, get it blended, and let's see how that end result is. Add the straight fire into the blender. Ah. What did I do? Blend it up. What do we got? Puree. And now my favorite part, I tear gas myself with the result. <coughs> That's good. Let's get it jarred back up. And then we'll check it out and sample it. And now with a new spoon, we sample. I realize when I do these videos like this, I don't always specify that uh, I'm getting new utensils and I share these things with people. So rest assured, I grabbed a new spoon here and I'm gonna take a very little, let's see what we got. I can't even tip it to show you or it'll fall off, but it, it's very little. That's pretty hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Good times, everybody. Stay tuned. We have a Pocky One Chip Challenge video coming up later today. We just did it earlier. Just going to put a little editing on that one before I upload it. I'm going to upload this one uh, straight like it is. So stay tuned.